How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to calibrate and level the bed on the ANET ET4X 3D printer. Calibrating and leveling the bed on a 3D printer is a very important part of the printing process. If your bed hasn't been calibrated and leveled, you can have a higher than usual failure rate from the filament not adhering to the platform. It's important to run through this calibration process after you've first built the printer, as well as periodically when your print quality starts to degrade. We'll start by selecting the level button on the printer's screen. This gives us a grid, and we're going to select number one, which will bring us to the first point on the 3D printer that we're going to calibrate. The four points are the four corners of the bed, and we're going to calibrate them by taking a sheet of paper and placing it under the nozzle. If there's no resistance at all, we want to turn the thumb screw until we can feel a slight amount of pull or drag on the nozzle. If the paper is stuck, we know that we've increased the bed height too much. We just want to feel a slight amount of drag. Once we've selected the number 2 on the screen, the nozzle will automatically lift and move to the second position. Once the nozzle arrives at the second point, we're going to repeat this process again using a sheet of paper. If the nozzle is too close to the bed, we are going to decrease that platform height so we can slide the paper underneath the nozzle. Again, we're looking for a light drag, not necessarily a tight fit. The underlying concept here is we want the nozzle to be close enough to the bed to deposit the material, but not so close that it gets smushed when it's extruding. Using a four-point bed leveling system like this is a little bit art and a little bit science, so don't get discouraged if it doesn't work perfectly the first time. After doing all four points, you're still going to have to go back and do it one more time to compensate for all the adjustments that you've made. Once the platform has been calibrated, you can select the home button, which will trigger all the end stops and get the printer ready to print. From here, the next step is to load the filament into the 3D printer. We'll be covering that in another video, as well as a few other tips and tricks for getting your ANET ET4X up and running. Let me know in the comments if there's any other topics you'd like to see me cover. I plan on making a few more videos to cover some of the features of this 3D printer. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.